welcome to Roots TV. We're here with Cav, who's headlining Roots tonight. Right, Cav, you've just got back to the UK after being in LA for ages. What were you doing out there? Um, we're just, uh, well, we're based out there at the moment, so we've just been recording the album and um, just doing a lot of gigs and stuff, and that's it really. Just kind of everything's based out there. So, Any anyway. special gigs? Yeah, we did uh, Viper Room a couple of weeks ago, which is really good. Cool. And uh, we did like uh, the Satellite, which used to be Spaceland, which is uh, which is like one of our favourite venues in Silver Lake. And um, did a few gigs sort of up in the OC as well. Was it Costa Mesa? And um, and then we've just done a lot of stuff. We've been up to like we were touring with Data Rock last year to do like um, a West Coast tour. We like done CMJ and South by Southwest really cool. and just just basic. You know, just everything I we love do that is coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We want to get out there. Yeah. So, what's the music scene like out there? Does it differ? Um, from definitely, the UK? yeah, yeah. I mean, it's more, um, I don't know. I mean, I suppose every city has its time where things are really sort of buzzing around there and everybody's really into music and they're kind of enthusiastic about most of the bands they see. And I think the quality of bands in LA at this moment in time are incredible. So, I mean, you know, I mean, every gig we've played pretty Eastern much. Eastern Conference Champions. Eastern mm. Conference Champions, uh, amazing. I mean, there's so many bands. Uh, you can just pretty much every band we've played with over there has been just, you know, top notch. You know, really sort of, sort of there, and they're all going for it. And the, and the great thing about it is they're really confident about being independent, so they're not so yeah. bothered about going out there. And you, you know, yeah. you get a lot of bands who want to like, mm -hmm. you know, chasing a record deal mm -hmm. or chasing the industry or whatever, or kind of acknowledgement from. Um, from other people, but the thing is about the LA bands at this moment in time, I find, I mean a lot of the bands have moved from all over the world, you know, to LA to play, so they're not just generally local bands, yeah. but they're all, um, they're just getting on with it, they're releasing the records themselves, you know, people are buying them, people are coming to gigs, the gigs are exciting, you know, they seem very serious about what they're doing and it just seems, it's just a good time to be there, definitely. Um, yeah. Cool. We should get out to LA. Yeah, well, you guys would go down do really well in LA. Actually, oh, you know, watching your sound check, you know, you guys would kill it in yeah. sort of Silver Lake. Oh, yeah. And so, yeah, definitely. We're proper Camden girls, us. Really. Oh, you're yeah, no, like Silver Lake girls, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. I mean, oh no, that's brilliant. Well, we're glad that you're here though today. Um, what, what what do you think of like what do you think of the scene in you know London? Um, I've been sort Any of like specific bands that take your fancy and like that. I mean, really, I was so involved with the London scene a couple of years ago before I went over to the states, and because I've been sort of based there, I've kind of missed out on mm. really sort of. Uh, it'd be wrong for me to go around and say, "Oh yeah, I know the Camden scene or the London scene yeah. or whatever." So, not I'm, I'm not that on top of it really, you know, as far as sort of bands. I mean, we have our friends, you know, like Barna Brown and bands like that, um, who, who we're just mates with. But you know, I mean. I'm not really sort of hot on it at the moment, so I can't really sort I mean, how of... How long have you been out there? Uh, like, probably about no. three years. Wow. And Silver Lake's nice. the spot, yeah? Would you come back? It's one uh, of the spots. What, come back to England? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, well I am. I'm sort of back and forth. So, so I spent, <laughs> uh, sort of Are spent, you here? Is he here? Oh, I am. Yeah. Oh, right. I yeah. thought he was a hologram. No. They, oh. they do that now. I used yeah. to like writing H's on his forehead. <laughs> it's always a good look. So your music get you, gets used on a fair bit of movies. Um, Playground Superstar was the title track of the movie Goal. Yeah, that was, that was when I was sort of in the Happy Mondays. That wasn't sort of that was a track that I wrote with Sean Ryder uh, a oh. few years ago. Um, I think it was like 2005 or something, and um, and that was used for a football film called Goal. And then, what about the Mr. Nice EP? Yeah, Mr. Nice was a song. Howard's like uh, Howard Marks is a good friend of um, ours for a few years, and um, he's a great guy. And basically. Um, I wrote a song called Mr. Nice and I sent it to him and he was like, great, you know, let, let's use it. So, uh, so it's kind of like his theme tune. So. I've got a quote from him, it says, it's the best tribute that's ever been made to him. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Well, he's so, a nice guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it means it. Why yeah, yeah. don't you say no, that? No, he's, he's, he's just polite, yeah. <laughs> but no, no, he's great, yeah, so, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. And uh, what was it, Easy got used in a... What film, was it again? Uh, Naked Ambition. Yeah, which was what? Uh, it was a documentary on the porn industry. Really? <laughs> so that, that was, uh, and, and I watched it for the first time, I think, uh, a few weeks ago. And a friend of mine, Brad, he was like, uh, he had it on Netflix um, and in the States, and he was like, oh, I just heard your tune. Or was it TJ, like our, one of our American Brad guitarists? Wolf. Yeah, he, he, I, th I think he was like watching in this film and he heard our track come out, and it has all the sort of models of. What were they doing exactly? I don't know. Is that on the cards? What, were they, <laughs> what exactly were they doing at that point in time? What were they doing? Tell us. I have no idea. 
Okay. Next question. It's cool if your music to get heard though. Like yeah, on yeah, really good. And soundtracks yeah. and well, we concentrate we on that we'll a lot. Try and check it out. You know, we we can, see? can we find yeah. it online? Yeah, 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 yeah. Does it have to be at night time when you watch yeah. it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, about okay. two a.m. <laughs> <laughs> after a night out, <laughs> or three. <laughs> after a night. Send us a copy, please. Yeah, okay. Well, I've got a copy. <laughs> I've got a few. Yeah. Ah, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I'm perfect, I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> yeah. All right, look, we usually play this game called Manage, Collaborate and Kill. Uh, but you've pretty much worked with every producer and legend out there, so it's a bit difficult to play it with you. Mm -hmm. I want to play it with them. Uh, but anyway, all right, what we'll do <laughs> is, right, who would you love to work with? Um, Someone that you ain't worked with before, obviously. Red and Pink. Don't say you're running from the Stone Roses. George what? Michael. <laughs> George Michael? I'd love nice. to work with George Michael. Oh, yeah. what, again? Uh, no. After Snappy Snaps. <laughs> oh God. No, I did not expect you to get away driver. No, I like that. Oh, you said that. Like that. Like that. Yeah, George, George Michael, definitely. Legend. Love to work with him. You know, I do like I a know bit of a rock and roll sort of dancey, you, kind of like mad sort of, uh, you know, George Michael track. Yeah. yeah. He's got a thing for George Michael. I've got a thing. Yeah, for he's got some vocals, man. Um, yeah, I've definitely got. I've definitely got his sort of. Um, I'm definitely as comfortable as George Michael is in the stage. With not, in a gay, not in a gay way. Not, I didn't even say that word. Okay, well, you know, but in a kind of like, you know, in a dancing. In a dancing <laughs> kind of way. He meant dancing. In a confidence in way. A confidence, 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 in a confidence way. way. Right, well, so you're releasing some new material in October. Yeah. Um, any more gigs or tours that you want to tell us about? Yeah, we've got we've got the album coming out in October. We've just done a live album um, over in the States, which is like a sort Lovely. of, a style sort of like a, quite a 60s style sort of Rolling Stone, Simply for the Devil kind of vibe kind of film. Mm. And it's just us sort of playing all the tracks live in the studio. And we've set it out quite old school mm. and, you know, all these mad old that flying gave me, carpets that, that gave me like stuff. shivers. I like the sound of that. That's my dream. Yeah, we kind of like, like that. It was cool. Like that's that's music great, to cool. artists. Mm. Artists still like that. Cool. So we're going to release that with the album as a, you know, as a sort of... Are you going to be touring here? Yeah, we're going to be doing uh, we're going to be doing some like UK gigs, I think, October sort of time, and um, and then go over to the US and do quite a few, and then come back. And that's it. Just gig <laughs> as much as you know. I don't really know, but we're just going to do as many gigs as we possibly can. Yeah, man. It's kind of what just we do. Happen. Otherwise, we get bored and get into yeah, trouble and start thrill. getting you know all kinds of strange things happen. Like sort of, yeah, like, it's been lovely talking to you guys, and we can't you, wait to share the stage with you lot, yeah, and man. you know and watch you lot perform too. We're going to be at the front going, Woo! Uh, <laughs> we will. Yeah, because yeah, after we perform yeah, as well. Yeah, after we perform, we'll be well excited. Yeah, man. Um, thank you very much.